There's a DJ, I don't know, husband and wife team. No way. A DJ, a radio team, yes. husband and wife. You want me to read this real fast? That we, has to be before the, we do the worst anti bit of drivel it made, ever. It made the fucking daily news. We're celebrating a year on satellite radio, and where's our article? Where's our article in the New York Post and the Daily News? They, they're too busy writing about a husband and wife team. Are they in Florida? Uh, looks like Jersey there, okay. Jimmy. Thank Morning, you. mates. G-Rock DJs Brian Phillips and Jen Ursillo, a couple of New Jersey radio disc jockeys, will be lying down on the job this morning. Lying literally. down on the job. I get it. What are they doing? Wacky radio alert. As part of a fundraising stunt, Brian Phillips and Jen uh, Ursillo. Way to have a name uh, that's hard to pronounce if you're trying to get exposure, by the way. Jesus. The morning host on G-Rock will be in bed until they raise $50,000 for breast cancer awareness. So we have to do nothing while you send in your cash? I don't get it. What's he going to be doing the whole time? Kissing her tits and going, thank God you're here, and thank God you're here. <laughs> they better not be stealing our Feels for Meals uh, concept. They might be stealing our Feels for Meals concept. That's what it sounds like. Walk up and squeeze Jen's boobies and uh, and give in give some money. Well, they're trying to raise awareness. So what will happen is you'll hear, oh, this is so nice, and then, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I got the, I got the, uh, we got the G-Rock site up over here, Anthony. Eric found it. Uh, here's the Big G Morning Show with Brian and Jim. G-Rock found the G-Rock site? Hey, hey, there's a preview. Wow. Can we get some audio of these, uh, of these guys? Oh. They, they do the Big G News at 5 a.m., then 6 a.m., and every half hour until 9 a.m. Why don't we have something we do every day at a certain time? It we doesn't do. Work. We stink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you inside radio. Oh. It's a mistake radio has been doing for a very, very long time, and it's these dumb program directors out there that were not good enough to have their own show, so they're going to tell you how to do a radio show. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that gym teacher. Yep. Yeah. Gym teacher is just a useless person. Not that good enough. At everything, but now he's going to tell you how to do jumping jacks. And, and make it as an athlete. And how to climb the, the, the rope and how mm -hmm. to... Kick around that big medicine ball thing. And how to keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> how to keep a secret. But, uh, and, and these stupid program directors, they, they don't understand uh, radio shows that just fly by the seat of their pants. Yeah. Like ours. Every day we have no fucking idea what we're doing. That's a fact. Dive in, head first. We're the most prepared, unprepared radio show in America. We have a great staff uh, behind us. They're throwing stuff at us all morning long, mm -hmm. and then we make, uh, make shit up. Right. Basically, that's what we do. But these program directors out there, they don't understand that concept. They don't, they don't want to give that much control to their uh, personalities. So they force them to do particular things at the exact time every morning. Here's a bit you probably heard in your local market. It's called Battle of the Sexes. Ah. But they do it every morning at 7.15, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're Joe Commuter. You get in your car every morning at uh, 7.10. Mm -hmm. And maybe you, uh, you're you only in the car until 7.30. What do you hear every fucking morning? Battle of the sexes. Battle of the fucking sexes. So if you don't like battle of the sexes, you're, you're gone. But if you love it, see, that's what they're saying. But the odds are... Of yeah. course, the you're going to get sick of it. So, you know, if you were a smart program director out there, you would get all these features but throw them all over the ball field. Is that the bit where she mouths off, you hit her in the face? That's right. <laughs> I love Battle of the Sexes. Joel and Hedda in New York, you're on g -Rock. <laughs> Battle of the Sexes. Battle of the Sexes. S. Peterson from Modesto, <laughs> you are our winner. <laughs> But these program directors don't get it. Most people are in the... Orenthal, what a strange name. <laughs> but uh, you have won our battle of the sexes. You got it already? Holy shit. Uh, but, I mean, all kidding aside, do you understand what, what's going on here? The, the program course. directors, they're a bunch of dopes. They don't get it. You know, if you have all these features, you should just keep mixing them up every morning. And then, uh, you know, the listeners get a little taste uh, that's a little different every morning when they jump in their car. Because their ride is the exact same every, every fucking morning. Virtual smorgasbord. 
what the hell? It's like a fucking restaurant over there. No, I, I got Your it. waiter is bringing you stuff. Well, He's he leaving, the, coming back. He didn't deport. What I asked, what I ordered was, and you guys can have some. It's called emergency. I'll, I'll explain it to you after what, the bit. What is it? Emergency. It, oh, yeah, emergency? Wait, 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 we got three bits on the table here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, hold I'll, off on wow. the emergency thing for a second. Spin that. The plate's coming. I'll be spin that one. We're in the middle of G-Rock. The plate. The We're plate talking is, about it's going to fall off the pole. Spin it. Holy shit! What we have a monkey song? We have the G Rock battle. Monkey so song? What's that? Emergency? A battle? Of, what? Who the? Let's stick with the, the G show. The the focus. The you guys G Rock. Hear about Pastor Greg? <laughs> we did that already. All right, so it's a it's a morning show called. Uh, it's Brian and Jen. Can I? Hi neighbor. <laughs> Can I borrow a cup of money? Every time a good person comes into the neighborhood, the, the old cranky Jew next door, we reject him. <laughs> we will not recognize him as the good person. <laughs> Can I talk about this morning show or not? Hey, it's Mr. 2000 Years Too Late Again. <laughs> Very special episode during Christmas time. The Jew comes over and kicks over their nativity scene. <laughs> <laughs> in the big season finale, the big laugh getter is Mr. Horowitz is run over and killed. <laughs> that, would, that would make such a great Christmas episode. The crazy Jew from next door comes over and tries to crucify the baby Jesus in the nativity, but can't spread his little ceramic arms apart. <laughs> Or he converts, he comes over one day, he's dressed better, he's had a nose job, it's all small. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful Christians. <laughs> We're talking about Brian and Jen for G-Rock. And what, now why are they laying in bed for, for to raise $50,000? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't I don't know. To support evolution, I think. <laughs> no, that's the monkey song, Claire. Oh, okay. But uh, we got the uh, the G Rock radio program. Their website is up to my left here. It's the morning show with Brian and Jen. Someone's saying that uh, the Jen is pretty cute. Yeah, she looks very cute. She looks like uh, like uh, uh, that uh, Wonder Woman. Linda Carter. Linda Carter. She looks a little like Linda Carter. Ding, 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 ding. All right, and uh, here we go. Here's some of their features on their show. Oh, features. Big G News at 5 a.m., then 6 a.m., and every half hour until 9 a.m. All right. That's why a lot of people Dependable, are tuning in. Dependable, Opie. All right, here's the next one. Brian and Jen's Early Morning Wood. W-O-U-L-D. <laughs> oh, Wood. You, oh, wow. Oh, boy. I was I was I ready to fire off a letter. Shit. I was ready to fire off a letter, but they brought me back. Do you right. want the one? I love the one feature they do. Yeah. My wife's a cunt, but they spell it with a K. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be back in the uh, the lowbrow area of the show. <laughs> of course. We right back into the muck and mire. Nice. The filth. We missed this uh, for the last three weeks. We're back in lowbrow town. <laughs> so it's Brian and Jen's early morning wood. W-O-U-L-D. Wood. And they describe it as this. 6.20 a.m. every morning. Describe your situation and win a prize. Describe your situation? Like, would you do it or would you not? Like, hey, I'm in, uh, I have a job, I'd like to quit. Would, would, would you? <laughs> yeah, I have a couch, I need to get into a van. <laughs> Friday morning, would. Would. Could someone try to find out? Uh, Matt Broad wants to help me. More info yeah. about the early morning would. What do you, what do you win, Mrs. Lippman's business card? <laughs> Can I continue with would, some of the features? Would you? <laughs> he said, would I can you? smell your breast cancer. <laughs> They're doing a good thing. I got it right here somewhere. <laughs> uh, we should do something for breast cancer awareness. Eight, right, eight o'clock. I'd fuck me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 9.15 every hour, some lotion goes in that basket. 
All right, listen. <laughs> Put the fucking chemo in the basket. <laughs> All right, Jesus, dude. They're doing a very good thing. When was the last time we did a good thing? <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. So more of the features of uh, the Brian and Jen morning show. They do the big G traffic every 20 minutes. The big G traffic. They barely have time to do anything else. Where where they are they located? And traffic and wood. Where are they out of? Jersey. Mm -hmm. Jersey, so the big uh, G traffic must include the parkways. Uh, Parkway South, Parkway North. Wonderful, yeah. The bridges, maybe. Wow, these guys don't have time to do any riffing whatsoever. No riffing. It's all about uh, these dumb little features. And I bet they're hoping to get to New York someday. Mm -hmm. You'll never make it. Where are, they, where are they in Jersey? Yeah, is it north, south, east, west, west? Um, where are they? Jersey Shore? Um, are they then South Jersey, which is another state? Uh, Northern yeah, Jersey, which is upstate um, New York? Yeah, by Atlantic City somewhere, maybe? Yeah. I, um, no clue? You got a phone number there for them with an area code, maybe? Or yeah. zip code, Hulk? Wait, get the, get the request line. Let's talk to uh, Brian and oh, uh, Jen. Yeah. Give them some publicity for their little thing. what they're doing. Yeah, give them a call. See if they'll talk to us. <laughs> Right. Don't call people, you shitheads. Yeah, Ruin our bit. This is our bit right now. Don't wreck, wreck it. All right, here we go. Big traffic. Oh, they're on now. The big G mm -hmm. traffic every 20 minutes. We're competing against them technically. Uh -oh. What are you, nuts promoting that? Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, listen, listen, listen. And then they have another feature called <laughs> Hollywood Hangover. Hollywood Hangover. Uh oh. At 645, 745, and 845. I guess they tell Hollywood news, probably. You know, the Tom Cruise stories, sort of what happened uh, in Hollywood the night before, maybe. Well, this guy knows the show. Let's say hi. Ah, Chris. good. Hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? What's he with? John Opie and Anthony. <laughs> uh, you guys want a description on the early morning wood? Yeah. Uh, it's horrible. All they do is people come in, call in, and uh, you have to describe your boner. Oh, it is not. Yeah. Stop it. It is yep. not. Yeah, they. You just ha after they say would, they have to say, oh, uh, you, would you like a winner's prize? Are there any interesting <laughs> descriptions? <laughs> like they ever yeah. get a collect call, and the guy goes, well, my wood is about seven inches. Uh, there's blood on it, and I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Go back to the features. <laughs> that is not morning wood. What an idiot. You fuckers. Call up with that. We, the, the website's getting pounded now because of our listeners, and now I, I can't tell you the rest of the features. If you are listening to this program and trying to either access their website or their show, could you please just stop? For a minute. You're a fan of this program. You want us to do a bit. <laughs> we're in the, we're in the middle of a bit. Stop ruining it. We can't get the site back up. Are they ruining it? They're ruining it. <laughs> They're ruining it. You are pests even to us. See? Stop going to this website. Oh, you right, rock. Well, I'll read the story. Maybe we'll get the website up for the uh, other features. <laughs> A couple of New Jersey radio disc jockeys will be lying down on the job this morning, literally. Uh -huh. As part of a fundraising stunt, Brian and Jen, the morning hosts on G-Rock Radio, will be in bed until they raise $50,000 for breast cancer awareness. Wow. You're just supposed to give money in, yeah. And they have some quotes, you know? Okay. Everybody has been phenomenally generous with Hurricane oh, Katrina. Jimmy Norton in the bed with him? <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Everybody has been phenomenally generous with Hurricane Katrina victims and the current catastrophe, said station manager. Uh, but Bob. what if hurricane cancer hits your breast? That's right. But That's we right. have the reverse effect where other philanthropies... <laughs> <laughs> Philanthropist? Yes, exactly. Philanthropist. <laughs> are sometimes hurt by that. Yes. Yeah, so basically other causes are, are... Yeah, I get you. Breast cancer gets a tremendous amount of attention, and it should. Well, it should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When thinking about ways to help the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Research Center, station execs hatch the sleeping stunt. Wow, that must have been some uh, meeting. Hell of a meeting. What can we do? What can we do? I Just know. Just stay in Let's bed. Sleep. Why doesn't Elo or Don Wiki come up with uh, an idea for our show where I could stay in bed and sleep? <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. This is a great promotion. Don Wicklin, uh, look at this promotion as something maybe we can incorporate into our program. They broadcast out of Seaside or Point Pleasant 
I forgot which. Okay. Uh, South Jersey. Uh, what were some of the other features, man? Now my how, OCD's kicking in. How great is that to, to, to be able to just do something you do every day? How fantastic is that? Yeah. Jesus. Here we go, what guys. A, what a great thing to do. Last night, Ben and Jen were tucked into bed in front of a Rockaway bedding store in Toms River, New Jersey. Oh, what, they're not home? No. Oh, they I thought they were at home. They got to go to a Rockaway bedding and stay in bed at a Rockaway bedding. Jesus Christ. Two words. Two words. Pig's blood. What? What? They're at a Rockaway bedding. Where is it all? What? Pig's blood. What, what, what do you mean? I'm not going to say what I mean. Two words, pig's blood. Oh, Jesus. Wait, where's Rockaway Bedding? Oh, which one? Oh, no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> in Tom's River, New Jersey. Wow. No. You know what the really sexy part of that must be when they're doing it, and all of a sudden one of them gets really quiet, and then he passes a bedpan out, and someone has to take it in front of the bathroom? <laughs> It wouldn't it be great if she had her period and they decided to have sex on that Rockaway mattress? <laughs> and when they leave, it's just a huge blood stain. <laughs> Do you think people are actually going over there and, and, and giving them words of encouragement? Yeah, we stuff? love you doing a good thing. Yeah, you sleep. Hang That's in right. there. Last night, Ben and Jen were tucked into bed in front of a Rockaway bedding store in Toms River, New Jersey. Do we have one of, our, one of our pests that could go out there and see what's going on? That's pretty far, but... Well, they might be right there now. You never know. Never We've got pests everywhere, that. Anthony. Pests are everywhere. And just seeing maybe uh, get on a cell phone and uh, report back what's happened. Yeah. This uh, this morning, they'll do their show from the bed, and we'll be there until the cash comes in. You think they got cute pajamas on and stuff? Of yeah. course oh, they do. Station this pajamas. This is what we wear. Yeah, with the station logo all over. So what we wear at night at home when we go to bed. Oh, stop. And they have, you think they're having their cute little banter like they have at home? You fucking frigid bitch. <laughs> Suck my cock. Don't be a bed hog now. <laughs> he always steals the covers. <laughs> oh. I think she's got a big black dildo. <laughs> Just like uh, in the night table next the to the bed. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Some more of the features. All right, features. Hollywood Hangover, 645, 745, and 845. Then they do a feature called Brain Cells after 8 a.m. Brain Cells. How is cells spe spelt? Uh, is it S-E-L-L-S? -L -L uh, C-E-L-L. -L -L. Oh, I thought they would maybe spell S. it different. Answer the trivia question and win various prizes. Trivia. Then they do Jen's Animal Story. Uh-oh. And they do that after the big uh, G Did News at 9 a.m. I actually heard that one. It was the uh, the guy dying by getting fucked by the horse story. <laughs> <laughs> it's her animal story. The chicken fucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Das gut. Then they do Brian and Jen's <laughs> listener poll. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that fucking chicken did the whole time. <laughs> if you, you never thought you could hear a chicken, a, a degraded chicken, a demoralized, degraded chicken, but there he was right on videotape. Yeah, it does good. Yeah. <laughs> Poor chicken. Oh, it's funny. His, his uh, insides just ripped apart oh, by a course. uncut German tool, <laughs> and then he's thrown in some soup. <laughs> Rough hand for old Mr. Shaw. That's a tough old life for that bird. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, he doesn't know who he's scared of more, the German guy, this Colonel Sanders, he's in the middle. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to Don in Jersey. Don. Don on the hey, phone. guys. Hey, hey Don. This is absolutely the worst hack radio uh, station. Can you hear it? Yeah, I got it on the radio, but they're, they're at a commercial, so... Oh, well, can you hang on, because I want to hear some of this. Yeah, uh, Danny or Travis, pick up uh, Don, and, and soon as... <laughs> soon as uh, yeah, no, oh, wait, we got another guy? Which one? Uh, I can't see, bro. Uh, Will? Oh, okay, all right, six. I got you, thanks. Ah, you just cut him off. No, I got Poor him there. Bastard. Will, what's up? Hey, dude, what's up, guys? I got it here in song, Green Day. They're coming back from, uh, from, come on, now they're playing another song. Well, yeah, Travis, that's what I mean. We're gonna keep, right. them, we're gonna keep them on hold until they're talking. Alright, big, alright. Uh, we're gonna go with Don, because his cell phone's a little better. Don? 
Yo. Stay there. Travis is going to help us, uh, uh, help you and us out. Hold on. All right. So as soon as they are live, we'll go back to them, okay? You you mm. hit me in the side or something, Eric. All right. Uh, oh, and then they do a listener poll every morning. Brian and Jen are going to... Brian and Jen are going to bed for charity. They are sleeping 24-7 at Rockaway Bedding in Tom's River across from the Ocean County Mall and not leaving until $50,000 is raised for the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. How long do you think Brian and Jen will have to stay in bed before reaching that goal? Holy shit, are you kidding me? One day, two days, three days, four days, happy holidays, light the tree, and menorah, they're not done yet. Those are your choices. <laughs> Fred. He has the old card over. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's get through the story here. So they're there. Tell him, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> the hosts are in a tent with one side clear so passerby can peek in. Nice. There's a webcam at grockradio.com. Um, wh uh, why? Why? <laughs> Just to annoy you, to be honest with you. Is there really? Let's find the webcam. The webcam? That'll seven. just be. Huh? Nine seven. All right. Line seven, here we go. Here we go. Come no, on. No, never mind. Never mind. No, never no, mind. No, line wait, seven. Wait, no. No? What the hell happened? No, not yet. All right, we're still waiting uh, for them to stop. Oh, no. False alarm. Oh, oh, Travis's no. false alarm. All right. So they're in a uh, tent, so uh, you could uh, walk by and check them out real fast. How great and would that be? Just like his asshole popping up and down <laughs> as he's fucking <laughs> <laughs> but then you see the rest of her body, and you realize that he's straddling her, just fucking her mouth, <laughs> and that, and he's talking on the air. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> and during the day, other G Rock jocks will do their shows from a nearby tent. Wait, the other jocks have to be there? They have to be part of this disaster. Oh, imagine that they come to you. Hey, the morning show is going to be doing this uh, Holy charity crap. event. We Holy need everybody crap. in the station involved. Holy this crap. means everybody. Holy crap. I this want is... the overnight guy, the part-timers. This is like broadcasting in front of the world's largest Pop-Tart. Yeah. The duo will also check in on air throughout the day. Here's a quote from the general manager. It's a pain in the neck for them. <laughs> Noting... I'm to... oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Noting that Jen has a son... And yes, they'll be able to get up for bathroom breaks. <laughs> well, look, that's nice. A pain in the neck. I mean, they're doing something. It's better than a pain in the chest area. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> ah! When's your flight? <laughs> hey, I'm not the one capitalizing on it just to get my name out there. That's right. I don't care how much they're raising. They're doing it to get their ratings up. Fuck them. <laughs> They should do it anonymously or just donate part of the salary if that's sincere. Yeah. I'll lay in bed with this hole until you send in 50 Gs. Do that. All right, here we go. <sighs> Having radio hosts stay in one spot for a long time is a usual trick in radio. Mm -hmm. In the past, stations have put hosts on billboard platforms until either they raise enough money or they break some record. Having them on a bed is a bit of a twist. Besides doing their show from the bed... Ben, uh, Brian and Jen will auction off prizes and pose for pictures for free. Wow. Oh, for a fee, sorry. Oh, for a fee? So for a fee. you get a picture with them in bed? Can you climb in bed with them? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just pull your hog out. <laughs> <laughs> so how long could they be there? I'm hoping that by Sunday we get there, Calderaro said, the general manager. Mm -hmm. After that, it starts getting real old. Hmm. Good luck to Brian and Jen. I wonder what the yeah. Jersey guys are doing to raise money. Talking with an echo somewhere, I bet. <laughs> Horrible radio show. Good luck to them. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, great. What? Uh, we are only ten minutes from there. We can go tonight if you want. And this is from none other than No Filter Paul. All right. Paul, is he there now? Is this the worst person possible to have available for this thing? 
<clears throat> hey, Paul, how far are you away now? Go tonight. They're not going to be broadcasting yeah, why tonight. tonight? Why, yeah, why, why would you go tonight? We need them. Uh, we need someone there by 10 o'clock Eastern time. Right. Most uh, morning shows end at 10. Let's say hi to Don. Hey, Don. it's Don. All right, you're back. What's going on? Anything? Yeah, they're wrapping up a song here. All right. Jesus. Here they are. They're live. All right, let's hear. Avenue White Stripes. My doorbell, it said day one. We don't have a doorbell for anybody to write. I used to come right in the tent here. <laughs> We're like a big old circus, but different. Oh, my cast of carriages in this tent. Amy D. It was knitting. Amy D. was uh, broadcasting her day so after 10 o'clock from here, from the adjacent tent. <laughs> no, she's not. She's, she's staying not. in our tent. Oh, she's staying? The other one got washed away. Oh, I see. We lost it. <laughs> we lost it in the mine. It is 30 mile an hour overnight wind. <laughs> In rain. They lost a boot and a tent. Is it only 30? I, I, we clock it at 30 or 35. We're not sure. Oh, my God. All right, so we are here. We are in the bed. Rock away bedding. Tom's over Hooper Avenue. Cross me, does she tell you, What's the latest, Kelly? Well, I don't know about that. Uh, oh. Two. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, open your wallet. KOCN.org <laughs> is their website. Uh, our website, grockradio.com. You can log on and enjoy all the seats. You heard it here, you heard it on other stations. And you're still thank you to all our radio Thank you to all of our radio affiliates. You log, log on to our website, you can make a donation there. Mm -hmm. You can call the studio line 866 76 Bond and Mary Elizabeth. Thank you so much for all your help this morning. All right, taking your pledges. I believe the changing of the guards happens very soon. Me too. So, Amy Dew. Amy Dew. Nonsense. Amy Dew is knitting. She's knitting, and she is going to give us a lesson. Oh, I see. Has this what it's come to? <laughs> you know what I feel like? What's that? Okay. Here, here we go. Olivia Newton, John. <laughs> They throw under the activities the next day. Well, under your door. Now we've got Scrabble tournament. Scrabble at one. Yeah. Scrabble at two thirty. Admitting is four. Yeah. <laughs> Do we get dressed for the captain's dinner? Yeah. What time does that happen? What about the Jello buffet? You got to get yourself a blanket. Oh, thank you, Amy Dio. <laughs> we don't have enough. Thank you, Amy Dio. Maybe it's the weather improves. We can play. Wow, shopping. wow. This is <laughs> fat housewife <laughs> radio. This is so <laughs> incredibly <laughs> bad. This is I fat housewife radio. What are they talking about? Only people that enjoy this shit. The doorbell? We have to use a doorbell because the knocker's missing. <laughs> Let's play some music. Please play music, thank you. I just want to add, guys, that this used to be a respectable alternative radio station. Right. And one morning, one Monday morning driving to work, I turned it on and Hungry Like the Wolf was playing. Oh. Awful. We'd like it's to hard. we'd like to thank our food sponsor Hooter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as far as the situation is concerned, we'll keep you up. Well, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Don. Hey, don't, don't forget to tell them about the G spot moment. The G spot moment. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Let's uh, say hi to Bill in Tom's River. Bill. Oh, oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Are you a, a pest of this fine right. radio program? Uh, what's that, buddy? Are you a pest of this show? You're damn right. All right. Long time listener, man, since any W. What's up, Jimmy? Happy birthday, brother. Thanks, buddy. Holy crap! We got listeners pulling up to the Rockaway betting like crazy. We got Bill oh, from no. Tom's River on the line. We got Mike oh, from no. New Jersey. Mike. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, you're pulling up to uh, the Rockaway I'm pulling up right now, and they're, they're making me pull into a different park lot because they see the wow sticker on my car. Don't you fuck up our jobs, you <laughs> motherfuckers. I swear <laughs> to God. I can't do worse than you guys did. Well, there's got to be something we could do, though. I yeah. Mean... Anyone, ha anyone have a gas can and matches? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pulling into a different park lot. I'm backing up so I can't see it. No, he's a hey, breast a cancer yeah, charity. Yeah. We will be crucified if we interfere in any way with a breast cancer charity. We love charity. breasts. We love breasts. That's <laughs> right. Say we love breast cancer. Yeah, we have to have all the new stickers made. Ow. No. <laughs> well, well, actually, we'll. we'll. I'm in Tom's River, dude. There is nothing I can think of. That right. our listeners can do at this situation that will not get us fucked. That's right. a good point. What could they do? All right, if you're at Tom's River, you know, take a peek. And take a peek, get on the phone, and let us know what they look like, what's going on, how many people are there. But what are you going to do? 
dive in bed with him? Yeah, fuck them tits. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess there's not much you can do. That's Jen. Oh, she doesn't look as good as she does in her publicity shot now, does she? Let me see. Jen's oh. Pride and Joy, a shack-sized Nestle Crunch Bar. Ah, because it's a huge chocolate bar. Courtesy of our White Stripes and Pinstripes Weekend wow. winner. Holy crap, they do the hackiest shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is that them uh, outside? <laughs> and then they got pictures of their family, it looks like. I Ugh. That's... All right. Uh, really was, this was a barbaric, a barbaric segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get it. Dude. I want it stricken from the record. <laughs> oh, it really was just shameful. Oh, we got a sample of their program. What a couple of boobs we are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Chris on Long Island. Chris? Yo, it's Chris from Livewire again, guys. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Livewire, playing the Halloween party. Right. Halloween night. Hard Rock Cafe. We can't wait for our big party. Uh, I think you should change the promotion to W O O W. Whip one out Wednesday. All right. I didn't know he was going to say that. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Let's uh, listen oh. to a sample of their program. The Big G Morning Show with Brian and Jen. This is Larry. How you doing? Larry, what's up? And how are you doing, Jen? Yeah. I'm very good. See, this is my Yeah. Point. We got to we gotta clone Jen and get one who's single. That's what we need to do. <laughs> and then auction off dates for charity. With, with Ms. Jennifer. You need to be our promotion director. Yes, I would love that. Are you allowed to pimp out DJs these days? Uh, I don't I don't see anything written. As long as you give 15% to McGreevy, it'll probably be okay. On G-Rock Radio. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know how we're going to compete against that, guys, to be quite honest with you. And OB, during that break, that was awful. What did I do? Well, you finally got through to her on the phone and you wished her good luck, bra. <laughs> 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 All right. You know what? The monkey song is going to have to wait because we're going to have to reset the show now. Oh, my head is, I, my head literally hurts. We're going to have to reset. Oh. We're going to reboot. <laughs> reboot. We're rebooting. I, I, you know, I really, I got to be honest. I hope Steve from Yellowstone doesn't call. <laughs> we're going to reboot. Oh, we got that author that uh, called during that segment. And, uh, Raymo. Raymond, bring me a pair. <laughs> when we get back, we got the... Ramon, <laughs> bring me a disappointed husband. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> when we get back with the Opie and Anthony program after we reboot... Ramon, <laughs> carpool with me to the support group. <laughs> oh, there's an author. Ramon, <laughs> put Craigslist under my favorite places. <laughs> Ramon, throw out those bikini tops. <laughs> when we return with the Opie and Anthony program, we're going to be talking to a fine author <laughs> of the book. Uh, what's the name of the book over there, Jimmy? Uh, go ahead, go on, leave, leave. I, uh, <laughs> Everything you want to know about sex is wrong. And you said the book's good? I like some of the stuff I was reading. It was just interesting. I didn't really read that much, though. All right. <laughs> we'll probably take serious questions, and maybe, uh, who knows, maybe this is the return of Steve from Yellowstone today ah. when we talk to the author. You never know. <laughs>